Hey guys, end time for President Bola Tinubu as U.S. court orders Chicago State University to release his academic files now. Hey, well, I don't come with this. So how Tinubu go work out for this matter now? In academic files, when we say, then they hide. Now, U.S. court say, no, this time around. The Chicago State University must release Bola McTinubu's document. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The United States District Court for the Northern District of Alloyans, the Eastern Division, has said it has the power to sit over the case instituted by the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Atiku Abubakar. Atiku is asking the court to compel Chicago State University to produce the academic records of President Bola Tinubu political economics report. According to court document, the courts established that it has jurisdiction over the matter under U.S. law, which authorizes any interested person to request that a U.S. district court order the discovery of documents and testimony for use in a foreign proceedings from persons who reside or are found within its districts. The court def therefore heard that Article satisfied all statutory requirements as he is an interested person. And the respondent, the, the university, the Chicago State University, is a public university established and existing under the laws of Alorant with the principal campus and offices in Chicago. So it said it will not oscillate to grant the prayers of Article. That is, the Chicago should, as a matter of urgency, release uh, Bola McTinubu's uh, document. The Nigerian president, Tinubu, ran for president on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC, on February 25th. In November 2022, Several months before the presidential elections, an Abuja-based lawyer, Mr. Mike Ohenero, sued Tinubu over alleged certificate forgery, age, fortification, and lying on oath. Ohenero, in three separate district criminal complaints, filed at the chief magistrate court in Watsu Zone 6, Abuja, alleged that Tinubu supplied false information as well as attached forged documents to his, to his form EC9, submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on June 17, 2022, to aid his qualification for the 2023 presidential election. He initiated proceedings against Mr. Tinubu, by filing a district criminal complaint in the Chief Magistrate Court of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Mr. Renero alleged in his complaint that Mr. Tinubu submitted an affidavit of personal particulars to INEC in June 2022 as part of a required filing to run for president, which included an alleged forged uh, the Chicago State University Diploma dated June 22, 1979, and other information inconsistent with the Chicago State University document. So Mr. Juanero stated that after Mr. Tinbu made his INEC filings, Mr. Juanero obtained a subpoena from the Circuit Court of Cook Country dated August 11, 2022, and served it on the Chicago State University, according to papers filed by Article 
in the U.S. court on August 2, 2023 to substantiate the accusations. So in response to the subpoena, the university, the Chicago State University Registrar, Mr. Caleb Westberg, wrote to Mr. Uh, Cunero, Chicago's lawyer, Mr. Matthew J., on September 22, 2022, informing Mr. Matthew J. that the enclosed document documentation is all the record we have for Bola E. Tunubo. According to the complaint, the document that accompanied Mr. Westbrook's letter, okay, included a Chicago State University diploma issued to Mr. Tunubo on June 27, 1979. The June 27 diploma allegedly produced by the Chicago State University to Mr. Coerce and the June 22 diploma alleged submitted by Mr. Tunubu to INEC are very different documents. So this is where the problem is. Bola May Tunubu submitted different, you know, documents. Inconsistencies just everywhere. It just be like say this matter of inconsistencies, say eh? it just they fall out even when he you know he filed, he submitted his form uh, in uh, to INEC and the results, INEC results wherever and all that. This is what they are contesting. And the good part of it right now is that uh, the the US court has ordered Chicago uh a state university to produce all Bola Metunubu's documents since they said he attended school there. What we are asking for now, no more hiding the documents. We want to see it. I think this is a very big deal for uh, President Bola Metunubu right now. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly you share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.